Hey everybody, it's Pauline. We're back again. And today we're gonna make a craft for the book we read last week called The Kissing Hand. So you can have your mother, father, or caretaker kiss your hand and you can hold it all day long when you're away from them and you feel uncomfortable. But also now you can carry their heart around your neck because we're going to make a heart necklace. So what you're gonna need is salt dough. And we're gonna make this dough by using a bowl. And we will need one cup of any kind of regular flour. So one cup. And then we're gonna need salt. So you can use <clears throat> any kind of fine salt and you'll need one half cup. Then we're going to need water, a half a cup of water. Now, as you're making your dough, if it feels real sticky and it's sticking to your hands, add more flour, so keep the flour there. If you're mixing this and it's still, you put all the water in and it's still breaking apart and crumbly, you'll need to add more water. So we say a half a cup, but you could need more. Um, and you'll need your spoon for stirring. Then I used a pan because I put mine in the oven. So I used an oven and I set my oven to 170 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 77 degrees Celsius. So, um, you can spray or put some oil or butter on your pan, um, or I used parchment paper so that the dough does not stick to the pan. Uh, if you live in it's, we're a place where it's really hot right now, but it's not humid, because here it's too humid, uh, the air is kind of wet, so the dough was not drying. But if you are, are living in a place that's more dry, you can just put it on anything you want and sit it out in the sun. Now, whether it's in the oven or it's outside drying, about halfway through, keep checking on it and flip the dough over. You can keep flipping it as much as possible because it will start to curl up on the edges and we want nice flat, um, almost look like cookies, but ornaments, okay? Uh, after, and only after it's very dry and it will kind of turn more white looking, um, we are going to paint it. So you need to kind of use a, acrylic paint. I'm going to use red for my heart, but you can use, you can make your heart any color you'd like. And then I'm going to use yellow because I'm going to write the word love on my heart. Um, and actually then I'm going to spray it with that clear spray that we've used before it seals it so in case it gets wet the dough will not be ruined uh, and lastly you will need paint brushes and these are paint brushes and you will need string or ribbon whatever you like we're going to make a hole in our dough so that we can put the ribbon through so that we can hang it on our neck so that's all we're going to need and now we're going to go craft
Okay, hey everybody. So, with the recipe that I gave you, this is about the amount of things that you will be able to make. I'll call them ornaments. So I poked a hole in some of them just using the bottom of a paintbrush. Um, others I decided not to and I will do those later. But for now, we're just gonna make one heart necklace. I'll pick the nicest one. I want a small one. Okay, I think this one will work. So I'm going to spray my ornament. I just needed somewhere to hang it. And so I found this. Sorry. So again, we're just going to use this spray lacquer and I'll spray the front of the ornament and the back. Just needs a little bit of spray to protect it. And this way it'll look nice and shiny. Okay. Hey guys, so we're done. We made our heart ornament necklace and um, I'll take it off so you guys can see it. And whenever um, you have to go somewhere and you can't be with your loved ones, mom, dad, brother, sister, aunt, uncle, and you're gonna miss them, you can put your necklace on. Maybe they can even give it a kiss and you'll always feel okay. So come back next week. We're going to read another story and have lots of fun. Have a great week.